Today on 2018 Ford Edge, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Roof Rack System. This Yakima Roof Rack System is going to allow us to carry roof mounted accessories on our Ford Edge. Things like bike racks, kayak carriers, cargo boxes, and much more. It features an aerodynamic design. Like anything we put on our Ford Edge's roof, it's going to make noise. This design is going to be a lot quieter than your traditional round or square bars. Now it's going to work with your clamp-on accessories, as well as your T-slot accessories. What makes this crossbar different is that we don't have to remove and trim that rubber strip. With this one, our T-slot accessories simply push down and slide into your desired location. When we're all done, that end cap just clips back in place. Now there are multiple roof rack systems that have that aerodynamic design that fit this Ford Edge. What separates this one from those is that it actually gives us a little bit more clearance for our accessories. What I mean is, from the top of the roof to the underside of the bar is about three and a half inches. So where that extra clearance is gonna come in is when we're operating our panoramic roof. So as you can see with it open, here in the front, we've got more than enough room, but here in the back, our clearance is about two inches to the underside and about three inches to the top side. With other roof rack systems, you may not have enough room for that strap to go underneath uh, those clamp-on accessories. The crossbars are held in place by four baseline towers. The towers are padded, that way they don't harm or scratch our edges roof. Here underneath our cover, you can see it hides our hardware so it can't be tampered with. Now if we'd like, we can pick up some Yakima locking cores. That way no one can access our cover but us. You can pick up four, one for each tower with part number Y07204. So that'll give you the locking core and the key. Now each tower is held in place by a Yakima base clip. It's specifically designed to work with your Ford Edge. You can see how it clips on the inside of the door here. It too is rubber coated so it doesn't harm or scratch that finish. Now the whole system has 165 pound weight capacity. You do however want to check with your Edge's owner's manual to see if the roof can support that much weight. Now we do have the panoramic roof option, so it might be a little bit less, but be sure to check that out and go with whatever capacity is less. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now I've already got my front crossbar in place. Per my instructions, I take a measurement from the corner of my windshield, I measure up to the beginning portion of the pad on each side, and I've got my placement. The rear crossbar installs very similar. Let's go ahead and do it together. So I've got one side assembled on my crossbar. Let's do the other side. We'll start by grabbing the baseline tower. We'll take our adapter that just clips into place. Listen for the click. Then we'll take the anchor. This goes down through the top. We can hold it in place and then turn it over. Now the screw is just underneath, underneath this area here. On this side, we can pull out the little gate and that opened up so we can see the bolt there. What we wanna do is go ahead and tighten this down, but not all the way just yet. We just want it loosely installed. From here, we can turn our crossbar over and we wanna slide it onto the channel onto the underside here. Now we've got the black bracket here and the metal portion. Both of, these, both of these need to slide within the channel here. Now once we've got it slid on, not sure if you can see the little scale here. It's all numbered. Per our instructions, we need to be 37 and 7 eighths. Once we've got it set, we then need to make sure our pitch and our toe is set correctly. We're gonna go with the middle line on both. As I adjust this portion here, it moves it. 
So like I said, we just need to make sure that both are on the center line. Once we've done that, we can tighten it down. Now our tool has an integrated torquing device. Once we have it plenty tight, it clicks. From here, we can put on our end cap just to get that out of the way. It just snaps into place. And then we'll grab our pad. We wanna be sure that the notched portion faces out away from the center and we'll push this in place. Just like that. And it should move freely like this. Now we can turn it back over. We can go ahead and put on our hook. That just slips underneath. Now it's different from the front, so we'll just need to be sure that we have the correct number and you can find that in your instructions. That slides up underneath here and clips into place. With everything assembled, we're ready to set it in place. It's a good idea to open up the Ford Edge's doors, and we're gonna gently rest it in place in the general area. From here, we just need to make sure that we've got the correct distance between the two crossbars. So we'll grab our tape measure, and Per the instructions, it needs to be 32 inches from the front of the crossbar to the front of this crossbar. We're almost there. Once we've got this side, we'll need to do it for both sides. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll grab our included tool once again. Now there's a few things we need to be sure of here before we start tightening anything down. We need to be sure that the pad is sitting correctly within the glass on our panoramic roof and the metal portion here. So within the channel, you can see how the pad is notched out like that. So we'll just be sure it's in the correct spot. Now from here, we need to make sure that the hook is resting on the metal and that we've got all that excess taken out of it. The way you do that, we'll take our included tool and tighten down this one first. And that's going to angle the hook so it's resting properly on the door there. Once we've got that done, we can then come underneath here and tighten this up. Give it a few turns. All right, now I'm gonna give it a few extra turns over here. But what we wanna do is tighten each side down evenly. That way the pad sits correctly here. So as we tighten this up, it's gonna draw that pad down and give it a nice fit. And again, when it clicks, that's how we know we've got it plenty tightened. Get both sides to where they're clicking We're good to close up the door here, close the door here. We can shut our edges doors and put on our covers. But with everything in place, we're ready to load up our favorite Yakima roof mounted accessory and head down the road. And that's gonna complete our test fit of the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Roof Rack System on our 2018 Ford Edge.